Um, a lot of uh, great reaction to our Once for Wallabies segment with Lloyd Walker last week. And this week, clarkie has been on the beat again, tracking down another classic Wallaby, another Randwick man. Australian rugby has been blessed with some great flankers over the years and this week I've managed to track down someone who was right up with the best of them, Simon Poitiman. Good to see you. Thanks, Clark. What about this view? It's perfect. It's tough to come to work every day at uh, Bell Potter here at uh, Level 38 Aurora Place, but uh, fantastic venue, fantastic firm. David Campisi, Underwood chasing. Poitiman. Try. Take us through the 84 Grand Slam. It was still is magic for all the other players and Alan Jones and Alec Evans who were fantastic uh, coaches of, of that side. We, we played extraordinary rugby. Uh, we really put our stamp on history. A, we did it in style and people still talk about that series and how we play and it's just terrific memories. I think 1986 was, was a real personal challenge for me because New Zealand was who I sort of rated and New Zealand at home was, hadn't been beaten since 1949. So for us, that was really important. For Alan Jones, that was really important. And to uh, win the third test match in Auckland to uh, win the series, that was magic. You retired from internationals in 1988. 88, uh, um, my good friend Bob DeWire uh, cut me as captain. And I thought at that time, I'll get out, I'll get out on my own terms. I'm not going to sort of wait around for it to be dropped from the side. So I was still on the side. and. I thought the writing's on the wall. Uh, the All Blacks came here for a tour. They had a tremendous side. Randwick played the All Blacks at uh, Coogee Oval. It was a magic game. We lost two tries to one. And I had a really good game uh, against Wayne Shelford and 13 of the, uh, the All Black test team. And Bob Dwyer had an injury at the time. He said, do you want to come back? And I was just going, I'm back. Uh, and I'm so glad I did. What about the 91 World Cup then, the pinnacle? Well, it was, and you know, to have a young John Eels, 21 years old, uh, Phil Kearns and Tony Dale and Ewan McKenzie, relatively new front row, and um, for us, that World Cup was we just prepared like professional era. We did weight programs really for the first time. We had dietitians. We had all the scientific advice. We're a bit ahead of the curve with the other sides out there, and they found out. You captain the Wallabies, you still have a passion for the game, helping to run the classic Wallabies. Tell us about that. Well, the classics are the, uh, are the alumni of uh, our code and you know, just the history there is just unbelievable. And the, the players we've got and what they've done, both playing and, and after, after playing in their occupations. A guy like Mark Lyon, who's Australia's leading ophthalmologist, does a huge amount of work for Indigenous uh, I care, that sort of stuff, is just, we've got those players all over this country, all over the world. So it's very important for um, the current crop of Wallabies to, to meet those players. We do the jersey presentation before each test match. We raise a lot of money for charity. Well, you're in great shape, dressed impeccably. You've got the best view in the world here at Bell Potter. So life's good. Yeah, life's great and uh, the afterlife has been good for me. Simon Poitivan, thanks for your time. Good luck with the classic Wallabies.